The summer riding season is almost over and it's time to see how the Iron Baltic skid plates held up. So we just got back from a trip in northern Saskatchewan. I have not washed the ruby yet. As you can see, she's pretty dirty. It was a good trip and we were on trails that were mostly really fine sand. And some of the uh, more adventurous trails we got onto were full of overgrowth like tree, small, small shrubs and tall grass and stuff like that. So I'm gonna tell you that there is a lot of stuff packed in the bottom here. If you can't see it on the camera, you're gonna have to take my word for it. And and you'll see it when I take the skid plates off. But I've had this before, and I gotta tell you, it washes out quite easy. I take the garden hose to it, and I hit the high pressure spray, and just it just sprays and drains right out of there. So I'm not overly concerned about that because it has washed out before, but I'd sure like to see how these things held up against all the logs and big boulders that we crashed over in uh, Northern Saskatchewan and in BC in particular, especially the rocks in BC. These plates have very little friction and they slide over the rocks really nice, but there were some pretty sharp rocks. So I'm interested to see if there's any big gouges and or cracks in the bottom of these plates <laughs> because we were landing pretty hard. We don't, we're, we're kind of hard on our equipment. We don't baby these things, that's for sure. Anyway, let's get at it. Okay, so one thing I can tell you for sure, since I've put these Iron Baltic skid plates on, I have not had one piece of damage done to my bike. So no rip boots, no sticks through the air box, no sticks through the air, secondary air, air chamber. I had, I had that one. The boot on the drive shaft, that got destroyed by a stick. Haven't had anything, nothing damaged since I put these skid plates on. I don't know if that's coincidence or if the skid plates are just that good, but just saying. Only the facts, folks. Only the facts. Okay, um, so some scratches from the rocks and another scratch. I don't see any, I don't see any carnage, any breakage. These things are heavy duty. So we're gonna find out exactly how much stuff gets trapped in here. And keep in mind, these trails that we just were riding on, they were full of leaves and weeds and trees. Whoa, we got a little bit of damage here. This bowl, I don't know if you can see, is kind of twisted or bent. Some, something hit it and drove it back. The other ones are good. When I take it out, I'll find out how bad it is. A little bent, I'd say. This one snapped right off. Maybe I had it over tightened. Oh no, maybe it didn't. The hole is there. Just a shorter bolt. Yeah, just a shorter bolt. When I edit this, I'm gonna take a lot of that cleaning out. Rose hip. That's what's in the top cover, plus all this. Like, there's quite a bit of leaves in there, but honestly, I've never seen this much stuff in there, The the um, all the other trips that we were on. But uh, I guess this has to do with the fact that it's fall, and all the plants are throwing their seeds around for next year, and a lot of leaves all over the place, so.
didn't need this. The bolt on the other side comes out of a, a bracket that's threaded. So yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff. I will admit, this is the most stuff I've had, even with my Honda skid plates, but these offer way more protection, so I'm willing to put up with this. And this is the only time I've had to do this, this year. All the other rides, there were no leaves and stuff like that. A lot less plant material. It was mostly mud and sand mixed in, and it, I just sprayed it out with the garden, and I could see inside there. I could, you can see in the sides, and you can tell whether it's getting clean or not. And I was able to clean it right out just with the garden hose on, on high pressure spray. Wow, look at the leaves. We did go through a little swamp too. And unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to show you any videos from that ride, those three days, because my camera wasn't set properly. It was set on normal view instead of uh, wide angle. So it would drive you nuts watching it because it's basically like looking through a zoom lens and trying to walk. The camera view is just all over the map. I don't see any damage anywhere. I'm not taking these off. These are a pain in the butt to get off. If I didn't put these brackets on, then they're easy to get off to just these two here. But these are L brackets back here, or actually kind of an S bracket. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there, but they're easy to rinse out. So I'll get all that out with the hose. Another bent one. Holy man, that's a lot of leaves. I don't see anything damaged. I could be missing something, but I don't. I doubt it. Everything looks good under there, and I'm gonna say it's because of the plates. Yay, Iron Baltic. bike up like that don't do that on a full tank of gas I got leakage okay that's it that concludes today's festivities I'm gonna go with I love these things because I haven't had to dish out any extra money I don't mind doing a cleanup like this this is actually pretty abnormal I've done fall riding before but I honestly have never seen so many leaves like inside caught in my rack behind my seat, under my seat, under the box and the back rack and stuff like that. So I don't think that's Iron Baltic's fault, but I gotta say, the one thing, Iron Baltic stopped the damage. Thank you, Iron Baltic.